Hey guys, I just wanted to do this quick video and just thank all of you from the very bottom of my heart because this past, as you know, the past couple of months have just been really difficult. Um, I know most of you have seen the video about Maeve and everything and um, it's, it's really meant the world to me that you guys have been giving me time and you know these past couple months to just recover and not putting pressure on me to uh, put new videos out immediately and you know try to smile and pretend that I'm not so deeply hurt by what happened and if you haven't seen the video about Maeve I really encourage you to go watch it and really learn about what happened um, a lot of good actually there's Beatrix over there she's been doing better lately she's got some scraggly looking tail feathers but you know she does have tail feathers so that's always a good thing <laughs> but anyways um some good stuff really came out of everything that happened with Maeve um as painful as it was a lot of suspicions about toucan nutrition because of her necropsy and everything and the liver biopsy were confirmed confirmed and a good friend of mine who's a biologist that's studying that primarily studies toucans and is currently working on bettering toucan nutrition, has been able to use the data from Maeve to a great degree so that we can help prevent this kind of stuff from happening in the future and learn more about the nutrition of toucans in captivity. Because even though, even the proper, quote unquote, the proper nutrition that we use now uh, isn't completely right even the right stuff that we use now isn't entirely right. Because there's so much about these animals that we just don't know. Um, so we're just trying to learn everything we can. And, you know, Maeve has helped. And again, I want to reach out and tell people, if you know anybody that has a toucan or you have a toucan and it has died suddenly or without explanation, or you know somebody that's had that happen, um, message me on Instagram. I will pay for the necropsy myself, and I want to try to get as many biopsies of livers from these birds as possible to this person so that we can help prevent this from happening from other birds. Because, like, the number one cause of death with toucans is bad nutrition, whether it's from early nutrition while they're developing, which is extremely important for a bird because they develop so quickly, or just in captivity as well over the course of their lifespan if they're not being fed and given proper nutrients. Um, I'm gonna do a video specifically on that in the future that's all about nutrition. Um, I'm really happy to say for the first time now publicly that I'm gonna be working with Missouri, who you've heard me talk about a million times before, uh, ever since the beginning of the channel. Uh, they make the low iron pellets for toucans that's absolutely essential to their diets. I've always been a huge uh, advocate for them and now they've reached out to me and they want to actually work with me and I'm really excited about that because I think it's going to provide some new opportunities to teach people about the nutrition of the animals and stuff and yes I don't recommend them as pets but at the very least we can try to get the ones that are in captivity properly cared for so that they can live long and healthy lives and especially when they're babies we want to try to make sure that what happened with Maeve does not happen to any other bird again and unfortunately that's not the easiest thing to do, but the best because of the way breeders are. They're just, you know, they see the birds a lot of times as a, a way to sit on their butt, wait for the birds to bang, and then each baby is a check in their pocket for, you know, eight to $12,000, sometimes even more. And it sucks because they're living things. And it really um, breaks my heart. But with education, and time then when people start to learn about the birds they'll start to ask questions and hopefully this will help prevent this kind of thing from happening in the future that's my hope at least also i took the birds all the way into dallas to the vet recently because i've just been i've just been panicking every five seconds even though there's not really any reason to the vet reassured me of everything with Maeve, but i was just like it was like every time that tupac would just do even something slightly unusual I would just be like panicking and then like he wouldn't if he didn't eat as much as he usually did I would panic and the same with Beatrix 
Uh, Tupac's more prominent because I see him the most, but it just wasn't good for my mental health. So I had to take him to the vet and just make sure everything was okay. Everything's okay. So we get the blood work, but we do get the blood work and the fecal cultures back in the next few days. But, you know, she said I really didn't have any reason to worry. And she was even like, I don't know why you want me to do all this because we just did it a few months ago. But I will. And, you know, I'll take your money. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, uh, you guys have helped make me more comfortable in doing that um, by supporting on Patreon. And then also I've been working on, of course, we're trying to move. And then my car, getting my car fixed because of everything that happened that I described. Trying to get, you know, race Maeve to the, to the, like, our emergency vet. And, um, anyways, it's just been a very full, very full couple of months here. So, but mainly I just wanted to do this video and thank you guys for being patient with me and for this amazing support that we've gotten that I, you know, I didn't even ask for anything and you guys have been amazing supporting on Patreon and everything else. We're going to be doing the live stream tomorrow with Tupac and Beatrix and, very soon, I will be... <laughs> How should I say this? Let's just say we have... I have a very exciting surprise for you guys here. And we'll get back, hopefully, to a normal schedule here in the next week or two. And I have a surprise for you guys. So I can't wait to share that surprise with you guys. And also, we're still working on moving, so, you know, come join us the live stream. Smash like, it helps us out tremendously while we're trying to save to do this. We're, we're, so, we're so close, yet so far, but we're getting there. I think it can be done this year if we really push hard and we can finally start building these facilities that I've been talking about for years where we can house even more toucans and, you know, toucans that are more wild in the future where they can't be indoors like Tupac and, you know, Beatrix over there is bordering on the wild side, aren't you? Did you bite me earlier? You did, didn't you? You can see it in her eyes. <laughs> That's proof enough. You know, I love you and I take care of you, and you're mean to me. I know you don't like people and you've had bad experiences, but I'm your friend. You know that? You know I'm your friend? <laughs> Anyways, join us tomorrow for the live stream, guys, and, um... I don't know, this has just been, it's been really amazing to see all the messages and fan art and everything that everyone sent. Um, it's been really heartwarming, just how much you guys cared about Maeve as much as I am and how unhappy you are about the injustice of what happened. But, um, join us for the live stream, join us on Discord. Alright, sorry about that, my camera cut out for a second, but as I was saying, join us for the live stream tomorrow. Come hang out with us on Discord. Links in the description for everything. If you're a pat if you're a patron, please make sure you link your Discord to Patreon and join us in the private Patreon only channel because we got all kinds of cool, exciting. Y you get a sneak peek at the surprise. I'll just say that. So we'll see you guys very soon. And uh, what more can I say other than I love you guys and we will. S I just said that. We'll see you soon. Bye for now. I guess. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody.